Hello everyone. Welcome to the very first episode of our series Podcast Presents. Podcast Presents to you a series of six insightful conversations with different leadership members from the management team of Wattpad. Every week there will be videos and blogs posted that would help your business grow tremendously in this online world. So do keep your eyes on the content that is coming your way. For today, we shall discuss the essential tools that a SaaS business needs for conversion optimization. For this, we have Hardik Makaria, the co-founder of Whatnot, with us to talk about it. Before diving into this topic of how to optimize conversions, let's hear it from Hardik about what he does. Thank you so much, Niyarika, for having me here today. So yeah, my name is Hardik. I am the co-founder at Whatnot. Uh, the two roles that I take up uh, at Whatnot are that of a product owner and growth hacker. So I think if you're a product guy, <laughs> these names must be yeah, pretty synonymous uh, to you. and uh now going on to what i do every day so in my typical day half of my time is spent on strategizing what features are to be built how they would function uh, the user experience and uh, how the design would look like uh, defining stories uh, jiras etc and uh, the rest of it would be speaking with prospects and customers and identifying and implementing growth strategies that sounds great so uh beginning with the first question When we talk about SaaS businesses and the essential tools they need for any activity, does it mean that the types of tools that may be required are common for all sorts of SaaS businesses, or do they vary? Um, I'd say yes. Be, like being the nature of the business, almost all SaaS uh, companies would be using similar types of products. The product itself may be different because you know there are tons of products uh, out there in the market, uh, but its underlying features more would more or less remain the same. If I were to give you an example, uh, let's take a look at heat maps. Now there are lots of heat map tools you can choose from, right? Like you have Hotjar, uh, you have Full Story, you have Crazy Egg. Now, uh, depending on your company, like you may have different requirements. Your use case may differ from what I may want to use uh, heat maps for. So, based on uh, that difference, companies often choose uh, the provider. So, again, as an example here, if you take a look at Hotjar, so Hotjar also provides like feedback surveys, uh, feedback polls. video recordings of uh, user sessions and uh, heat maps as well uh, which full story or crazy egg may not provide so depending on your use case i think it depends uh, who you choose but yeah, there are uh, lots of tools out there in the market which uh, do more or less the same thing so uh, my question here is for any saas business do they need one cro tool to cater to all the activities that they want to fulfill or is it that they need a lot of tools to make the whole processing effortless and efficient yeah it's a mix of both like and it's highly subjective to the business right because every business is pretty unique it's different although you may be having a similar product but uh, with the same features even but the way you market your product or uh, the way you uh, onboard people may be highly different uh, from one another right So uh, to me like the three most important uh, CRO tools are uh, landing page builders heat maps and the chatbot all right um so uh, could you tell us what are the essential tools that can be used to optimize conversion for a SaaS business like could you name four most important tools mm-hmm. uh, to me uh, the four most important CRO tools uh, are first is uh, unbounce it's a landing page builder So for a marketing team you need to have access to like the resources uh, by resources i mean like resources to build a landing page or make changes to a landing page based on your requirements uh, often times what happens is you get stuck because you don't have uh, resources uh, from your engineering side and this is what used to happen to us as well uh, because we had the engineering team work on building the landing pages or make any changes to them So uh, what we found is uh, Unbounce is a very good tool. Uh, it's a no code tool. So anyone with basic knowledge can build uh, landing pages very quickly and easily. So it just takes you a couple of hours and you're good to go. The second being the Get Site Control. So it's a pop-up tool. Uh, we use it uh, to design pop-ups and sticky bars. So uh, these are the things that you often times see on websites uh, when you uh, exit the page or when you go to click on the cross. You have this huge pop-up that comes up. Uh, with attractive offers or discount codes and uh, you know building landing pages is one thing but you know optimizing that page to get uh, higher conversions is quite another so you want to uh, get as many people visiting your page to be performing that desired action and having a tool like get site control is really helpful there 
third is hot jar so behavioral tracking is really important to know the psychology of visitors and uh, to get more uh, informed insights uh, from these thousands of visitors coming to your pages right you want to know how are people navigating through your web page uh, where are people spending the most time or where are people clicking the most or which cta is being used the most etc so these metrics can be easily got by using tools like hotjar and uh, lastly i'd say a chatbot so being a chatbot company i'd say <laughs> whatnot is something that we regularly and uh, most commonly we use uh, on our landing pages so uh, we use uh, chatbots to like engage with people uh, coming to the website uh, bringing them into a conversation and then uh, making them perform the design action that we have uh, defined say so, yeah, i'd say these are the four tools so that uh, any business should use for crm all right um now since one of the essential tools of optimizing conversions is having an ai bot like you said and being from a company that is involved in creating bots can you tell us how having an ai bot for your service help you in optimizing conversions like if you give us some fact or reference it would be really great mm -hmm. Yeah, first off, I'd like to clear some things here. Like I understand that AI is a buzzword, and no one wants anything that does not have AI, because it's all the rage out there. But that's not true. Uh, simple rule-based bots, uh, you know, like the ones which have just buttons you click on them and it goes through a predefined flow, are what is most effective uh, for a business that is just uh, thinking of getting started with a chatbot. Uh, the reason being, it's very quick to build, it's very easy to manage, and lastly, it's uh, very cost-effective. because it doesn't uh, cost you a lot right to build a very simple rule based bot and i'm not saying this uh, just for the sake of it uh, we underwent a study with our 3000 plus customers uh, and what we found is almost 83 of our customers are happy using the simple rule based bot and with the results that it brings up now coming to your question on how we leverage bots to increase conversion uh, now we have defined triggers uh, in our chat bots that automatically open the bot after a few seconds So let's say if I added a bot on a landing page, uh, which talks about uh, what that landing page is about. So after a few seconds of you being on that landing page, the bot will automatically open up. And you know, like everyone is using social messaging apps nowadays, and uh, it just feels natural for a visitor to uh, read what that message is because the interface is similar, right? Like if you're using WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, you are pretty familiar with the UI of a chatbot. and depending on how you design that flow and the effectiveness of it uh, people will speak with the bot and uh, go through the flow and this will perform the desired action that you have so far like what we have seen is we are able to achieve a conversion rate of about like 20 to 30% uh, on our chatbots so if 100 people speak with the bot at least 20 to 30% of them uh, perform that action that we want them to it could be either filling a form or giving their details or going to a landing page or whatever that sounds really interesting so uh now what i can understand from this conversation is that there are a lot of tools in the market that help a saas business for different different purposes coming to what not is it possible for what not to integrate with any other cro tool if yes why would a business look for this integration and what are the benefits that they will get from some significant integrations Yeah, it's I near like like no product can work on its own, right? Like we ourselves are using about 20 different products for different parts of our business. Like a CRM, office communication app, uh, analytics, product analytics, website analytics, etc. So it becomes very important to have all these tools to speak with each other, right? Because the most important benefit of uh, having these integrations with different uh, products is uh, first off you're saving a lot of time because you don't have to manually look at data from one system or another system and second is data accuracy because if you were to manually move that data from one place to one system to another there are chances that something may have been missed or you know like we are humans <laughs> after all so we are bound to make mistakes so all this can be eliminated by having native integrations with other systems out there And yeah, definitely at what not we do focus a lot on these integrations, and we keep it our quarterly goal to have at least five new integrations to be launched every quarter. Okay. Uh, now I have one last question for you. Throughout our conversation, we have only been talking about SaaS business and how they need CRO tools. I want to ask that having CRO tools is it only relevant for a SaaS business, or can other industries also make use of it? 
No, it's definitely uh, relevant to any business uh, across any vertical that has a website, right? Because the reason you have a website is because A, you want to have leads or you want to generate leads or B, you want people uh, to get the support that they need, right? Come into your website. A very simple example being chatbots, right? Because they're a, a generic tool. Anyone from any industry can use it for any use case, right? Uh, all the use cases may vary between any every company, but like some popular use cases that we have so far seen from our customers is lead generation and customer support. Because every business wants to generate more revenue and to generate revenue, you need leads. So what's not a better way to like leverage the visitors that are already coming to your website so you have bots speaking with everyone and uh, try and the bot tries to probe them by asking qualifying questions and if they meet a certain criteria it'll create a lead in your internal crms or if you're not using a crm it would just send you an email that hey how they could come in how they is interested for product a and he's looking to purchase a product like in the next quarter etc so something similar to it and if i were to give you an example you can take a look at telecom and manufacturing industry like they have they receive thousands and thousands of support queries every single day because of the sheer volume of uh, its customer base and you know oftentimes it gets too much to handle because you don't have enough uh, people <laughs> to receive these phone calls or answer uh, queries on ch chat systems or on emails etc so it becomes very important uh, for them to automate a major part of um, the requests that are coming in right and that's where a chatbot is really helpful and we, we have first and seen this with our pool of customers uh, in these spaces like manufacturing and telecom that support bots really help save a lot of time and efforts and you're only sending those queries to your team uh, which are actually not being able to be handled by the bot right only queries which are very unique which uh, even you couldn't predict because you didn't know such questions could arise and that's where a human comes in and using his intelligence he can just answer the questions or uh, route you to the right person from in a specific department all right thank you so much hardik for kick starting the series with us it was a really insightful conversation and we got to know some really important things about uh, ai being a buzz and uh, what are the four most important cro tools for a saas business to have not only for a saas business but even uh, other industries can make use of cro tools thank you so much for all of it Thank you so much, Nirika, for having me. Hope uh, everyone can uh, makes use of CRO tools a lot more <laughs> for their businesses. All right, and for the next week, we have another guest for diving deeper into this series. Lastly, thank you for watching and listening. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or email us at hello at the rapeportnot.io. Thank you.